Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create the correct or the best render settings when using PowerDirector and then uploading your video to YouTube. Now YouTube, once you upload your video to YouTube, it then converts it to the MP4 format, specifically the um, H.264, which you can see here, it says here MP4 and the video codec is H.264. So this is the form this is the best format when uploading a video to YouTube if it's in this format it will um, process the video much faster and you know so rather than taking you know 10 20 minutes to process the video it should do it in good time so now we know the correct um, format the next the next thing we want to do is to locate the video you've taken now if you're using a, a digital camera or a dash cam or a, a smartphone whatever you know you need to find out the actual details of the video so locate a video on your computer I'm using Windows 10 by the way but it should be the same process using any kind of Windows um, format so once you locate a video you will then want to right, right click on the video and then select the properties once you once the um, page opens you, want, you then want to select the details tab from the details tab you can see all the important information of your um, particular video. In, in my case this is a dash cam video, it says frame width 1920, frame height 1080, data rate uh, 12,180 and total bit rate 12,692 and the frame rate 30 frames per second. So this is vital information you need to know before you um, enter the correct details within PowerDirector. So now I'm going to open PowerDirector. This particular version is version 16, but don't worry, it's, it's, the, it's the same method in all kind of versions, all recent versions. So once you're on the edit page, just for a, a brief example, I'm going to drag a picture down to the timeline. From there, I can then click on produce on the top toolbar. Once a new page open, opens, this is all the different file file, file formats. You have AVI, um, Windows Media, etc., etc. What we want is this one. It's the H.264 AVC. Once you click on that one, don't use this one, the H.265, as it's not supported by YouTube. So click on the H.264. Then you want to select MP4 as the file extension. Once that's selected, you then want to click on the plus sign. It says create a new profile. So click on that. Then from there, you can give it a name. For example, I'll just put YouTube. Then I can click on video. Now this is the important. Oops. It says it's already created. I'll just call it YouTube 1. Then click on video again. Now this is the important part. You need to remember the details from your previous um, from the video you've selected so there's the details I have here so I want to select um, 1920 times 1080 which is full HD 1080p HD so, so I select that I think it was um, 30 frames per second so I can select 30 frames per second you want to leave it in prog progressive in the file type and profile type you want to leave in high profile same with this as well, the coding, leave it on them um, C-A-B-A-C. And now this is the important part, the average bitrate. So again, I'm going to click on the video. The average um, total bitrate I can see here, which is um, 12,000. It's 12,692. And on the advanced tab down here, just leave it in quality mode and click on, you can click use the blocking. So once that's all done, we've got the correct, um, or the video setup, the, the correct profile. Click on OK. So you can now see my profile then down here. So every time I click on ABC, see here, you can see the profile name and the quality. It says YouTube 1. I know that that's the correct um, settings for my dash cam videos. Obviously, each camera uses different um, settings, so create a separate profile for each. Once that's complete, all you then do is click on. You can then click on here and give your file a name, 
and then click the start button and that video will be produced in the correct format and the correct settings which will retain the best quality. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.